Okay guys, I'm at camp. This is the first time I've recorded. Um, I've been asked to help out with something real fast, but before I go over, I'm gonna make a couple casts over here in some of these shallower spots with my live target. So, we'll see how it works. Normally the frog works best because it's hard, you can't really get it back in there into those weeds. That's where they're all hiding right now. I can just see them rippling. I don't have time to change baits. If anyone watching this knows anyone from Live Target, give them a, please give them a call for us. I've been trying to get a hold of them, try to get sponsor, but you just don't answer, I guess. Okay, there's a bass right there. There he is. That's a nice one. Nice one, little guy. This lake holds some nice bass. This is the average sized one, which is saying a lot. Um, Right now, I'm in one of the scout camps. Um, there's separate um, campsites within the reservation. Right now, I think I'm in Moultrie, which is the name of this camp. So yeah, first bass on the frog. There's one. Dang it. He was a little guy. Ooh, that's a better one. That's a better one. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's barely hooked. Swing him up. That's number two. Very nice bass. I'm guessing one and a half pounds. Almost 1.7, 1.8, I feel like. Nice heavy one. Get a picture of him and then we'll get the release on video. Ooh. Very nice. Wasn't a very big one anyway, but would have been nice to have. 
Not a big one again. I think he's being chased. We just got a little heavier. Yep. Just fish jumps jumped over there. Okay, I got back into this little cove. Looked like a little bunch of bluegill were just being chased around, so I came back here and caught this nice little guy. I'm guessing a good 10 inches. That's a nicer one. Real stuck in those weeds though. Come on. Definitely nicer. Uh, yeah, there's one. Okay. He's barely hooked. There he goes. I haven't caught one in a while. I see some fish jumping over there, so I think that kind of spooked another bass. Nice little guy. Nice mouth on him. Got the string all, <laughs> the rubber parts all tangled up in my frog. I'll release him now and I'll fix that up after. But, nice bass. Hooked them perfectly, right in the side of the mouth. That's where I love to get these guys hooked. Right now with these frogs and this, uh, the way the summer's turning out, these frogs on me work working real nice um, early summer, right in on the sides of these banks. I saw him right up against that log. There's another nice slow guy. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Stop. There you go. <laughs> Didn't hook him. He should bite again. Just a little one. Oh, that's not a little one. Eh, still is. <laughs> that's a nice little guy. Not the one I saw before, but a little better too. Okay, let's release him. Oh, <laughs> you wanted out. <laughs> get it on camera, but caught this nice largey on um, the Folks Custom Crank Shallow Diving um, Natural Gill. Caught him right there, right in the side of the mouth. So go um, to Nick's website and um, tell him I sent you. His lures are amazing. Um, they're about $8 a piece, but for the um, quality they are, they are an amazing price. So go check him out in the description below. Very nice little one. Just caught a little guy on the FC Red, um, not FC Red Craw, on the uh, Natural Gill from Folks Custom Cranks. Um, right off this bridge again. So if you watch these videos and you come here, fish the frogs and so far what I've seen, the bluegill imitations <laughs> are also working. I think this is how I'm gonna finish the video. One last nice bass on the crankbait. So we're gonna end it here and I'm not sure how I'm gonna upload these videos yet, but I'm sure that once I get back home for a little while, I'll have time to edit. So we'll get the release on him and then I will see you guys in the next LDB Adventures.